Is you single with one of my favorite outfits? I posted a crazy post like I was ready to be off of this earth. What's up, Ray Nation? It's your girl now, Ray, back here with another video. Doing a QA because your girl then jumped from 4K to 9K quick. So I know there's a lot of people on here want to get to know me. What's up, y'all? It's not your break. This is Ray Nation two times. And if you don't know me, Ray Nation two times came from my little brother, but he has now passed away. He came with the name. So I keep using that. I keep letting his idea alive, you know, because he was really into my YouTube channel and everything. So yeah, I miss him so very much. I know y'all want to get to know me. Like, y'all even know who I am. Like, girl, who are you? First, one second. Don't do those. First question is, what's one of my favorite outfits? One of my favorite outfits recently is the outfit I went to Atlanta. I had on this blue jersey, a white um, thermal underneath, these pants that I have on today actually, and my Adidas. They're Wells, Bronner, Bonner, whatever. I don't think nothing I ever put on yet is topping it. So, what did your younger self used to want to be when you grew up? You want to know what's funny? I wanted to be the same thing I want to be today, a model. I always wanted to be a model when I was younger. But I can say before that, I also wanted to um, be a hairdresser. My mom bought me mannequins. I had about three mannequins. I had the stand so it could prop up on the table and everything. I used to want to be a hairdresser, but as I got older, I lost the patience to sit there and learn how to braid. I learned how to braid on scalp. I just couldn't figure out how to feed in the weave. So I kind of gave up on that as I got older because I really couldn't figure it out. Who do I see myself in five years? Hopefully out of Pittsburgh, living on my own, debt free, um, a successful YouTuber, forcing my way into the modeling game, you know, logs long as ever. I mean, I can't necessarily say where I'm going to be, but I do see myself being great, happy, you know, blessed, God fearing. I am God fearing now, but you know, growing my faith every single day and a beautiful young woman flourishing to the person that God has called me to be, God wants me to be. What is something that keeps you going when you're motivated? Something that keeps me going. Um, so when I feel unmotivated, sometimes I'll be like, forget all this. I don't want to do none of this, like none of this YouTube stuff. Even though I love doing YouTube, it's just like sometimes I'll be like, ugh, like I don't want to do none of this. Like before I even posted that video, uh, me and my eyebrows and it got all those views and everything and it gave me a lot of subscribers I was in a mood where I was like I'm done doing YouTube I'm going to take a break from this I mean the last video I posted me doing my sheen my sheen haul that's I told myself that was going to be my last video and then I posted a short because I was like I already had this recorded I got my eyebrows first done in July so I've been had these done but I just posted the video recently because I'm like I already have the video recorded why not just put it out but I didn't expect it to do all the numbers so basically when I try to stay motivated, I try to remember like why I even started all this. I started everything for fun, even the modeling stuff, the YouTube stuff. I started all of this for fun. And deep down inside, I know that I'm supposed to be doing this. I don't know which way, like what I'm supposed to be giving out, like what type of content I'm supposed to be giving out just yet. But I do know that there is a reason why I have this platform and I don't want to give it up. And it's not for no reason. Like, God didn't give me this platform for any reason. I just got to figure out what I'm supposed to use it for. And that's what keeps me going because sometimes I think, like, ugh, like I only got this amount of subscribers. I only got this amount of followers on Instagram. But I have 13,000, and that's a lot of freaking followers on Instagram. And 9,000 subscribers, that's a lot of freaking people. I didn't get this platform for no reason, and I built this for so many years. It's going on six years. So I just be like, you know, remember why you keep going. Well, remember why you started and don't think about all the other things you see. You cannot compare yourself to other people, seeing how their journey is going, seeing that what they're getting with their money, you know, because you also don't know people are doing for certain things. Who or what is your biggest inspiration? My biggest inspiration, I would say, is the era because like beyond just her, her influence, it's about her, her grind, her hustle, like the fact that she's a homeowner like I watched I'm watching her homeowner series and like I want to be a homeowner I used to be in school for carpentry but you know it didn't work out too well life was life and I was young and everything but I was in school for carpentry at a point in time and I really wanted to get into that stuff so seeing her like she built her house from the ground up every single detail she picked out for her home and then also with her business she's flourishing the way she promotes it the way she pushes out the content for her business everything that we see I think that's very inspirational dear if you watching this hey girls where do i see myself living in the next two years that's what i'm trying to figure out i really don't know where i would want to move 
if I do move out of Pittsburgh, I don't know where I would go next, honestly. And I feel like I'm going to start traveling more often so I can really get an idea of where I want to go, what I want to do. And where do y'all think I should do? Where do y'all think I should go? Like, what's... What seems like somewhere I would fit in? Let me know down in the comments and I'm going to check it out. Travel there. Drop some places down in the comments. I think I should travel to see where I would want to move eventually because I know I do not want to stay in Pittsburgh. You know, I'm young. It's time to explore, take risks while I'm young and live life. You know, I'm ready to see some new stuff. Like, I know I'll be hearing my voice change a lot. It's because, like, it depends on the mood I'm feeling like. You see, yeah, it just changes. What's the TikTok phrase you say daily? Um, one thing about me, I don't have a TikTok personality. So I do not say TikTok phrases. Newsflash, I got two TikTok phrases I say now. It's, who that in the bag? And when it's needed, I say, perfect. Hey, have a good day. Y'all can keep that trash too. Thank you. One, like I would say, the song, something I've been singing a lot from TikTok is, she got on bait. Bait. She got on bait. You ain't. And with a, uh, uh, what is something you learned about yourself this year? I learned that this year, I learned that I am a very sensitive person. And I can't, I've realized I was a sensitive person before, but I'm finally realizing that I need to accept it. You know, like I have to accept that I'm sensitive. It was, it's okay for me to, to be sensitive. I'm not overly sensitive, but I'm human. I have emotions. I have feelings. You know, and I'm just realizing that I am an emotional person and I am sensitive and that's just what it is. And nobody can change that about me. It's just, that's what it is. I mean, ain't my fault I got a heart. Do you hire a photographer or videographer or do you do it yourself? Um, it depends. Um, I used to have a photographer. We don't, we haven't shot in a while because we were going through, you know, a rough patch, but, um, it depends for certain content like I have my own camera so like sometimes I have my friends take my pictures on my camera or I'll take them by myself or I take them on my phone you know but lately I haven't been having a photographer lately, like I've been doing it myself so if you look down my page you can kind of tell the difference of which is which what is a personal goal for 2025 to stop taking thing everything personal that's a goal <laughs> To stop taking everything personal and start learning how to stop stressing over the things and give it to God first before I start going on rants and letting my mind wander. That's those are things that I really need to work on in 2025 for sure. I'm working on them now, but hopefully in 2025 they will be good. They will be straight. How is your journey going? Walking in faith and trusting God without sight. Um, it's not the easiest, especially these last couple months, as y'all know. I've been going through some stuff. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I posted a crazy post like I was ready to be off of this earth, which I'm back in action. I do not feel that way anymore. Hello, God. Praise God. Amen. But um, I would say it's not the easiest, especially because when things keep coming at you and um, I would say like it's not the easiest, especially because. When I was younger, I started YouTube when I was so young. I started modeling when I was so young and I expected myself to be at a certain point by now. I held myself to a certain standard that I just could not keep myself at, especially because the world is moving so fast. Everything, everything, the prices are moving up with everything. And it's just like, I expected myself to be at a certain point in my life by now. And it's like, I'm nowhere near it. And it kind of hurts my feelings. Um, so it's kind of like hard trusting even though, I, but I can say, now that I see, like, I worked hard and I did my, I did what I needed to do, you know, to be where I thought I was going to be. But, you know, it just made me realize that I'm not in control of my own life. No matter how much you plan out things, no matter how, no matter how hard you try to make things work out, if it's not God's way, then it's not going to work out at the time that you want it to work out, you know, it's on God's timing, which... That can be really hard for me. I'm battling back and forth. Like, oh, I'm trusting God. And I'm tr I trust God, yeah. But it's hard. It's going back and forth for me trusting God. And it's like, oh, I want to do this by myself. Man, it's it's not easy. Um, but God didn't say it'll be easy. He said it'll be with you. Amen. <laughs> Is you single? Absolutely. If y'all don't know, if I didn't know by now, yes, I am single. And I want to be dating or getting in a relationship for a while. Um, just because I'm young. I'm 21. And the last dude I've been dating led me on so far that I don't even want to 
you know i need to explore my options see what's out here live my life grind chase my dreams you know and yeah i'm 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 back single and but i won't just be dating anybody i won't just be talking to anybody i I choose i choose very wisely okay my phone is dry as heck right now (laughs) Okay, so thank you for Niche for Shanice asking me all these questions under my recent post on the community page. Um, she said, What is my favorite food? I love me some pasta, I love me some stuffed chicken, I love me some yams and mac and cheese. My favorite Bible verse is Psalm 34, verse 18. Who are my top favorite artists, male and female, gospel and secular? I would say Forrest Frank, he's gospel. He's one. He's my top. He's t- he's the top one. First of all, I really want to go to one of his concerts one day. I do love Alex Jean. He's also he's also gospel. And then my one secular artist that's my fave is Glorilla. I'm sorry. I just love her freaking music. I just love her. Like I don't know what it is about her, but she's like the only secular artist that I really listen to. Hello, 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 hello. Hey. But it's something I want to grow stronger in my discipline i am not disciplined enough for me you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video hit that notification bell so you know when i post you guys in the next video comment down any video ideas down below because i got some stuff coming in a good with my we be vibing and blessings